Can you hear the birds? So, I'm in Cambodia. It's my last day before I fly home. Uh, and let's just talk about 2020, shall we? Uh, some of the PESL, political, economic, social, legal and technological, some of those aspects have been resolved. So we've had a, a, a election. It's quite clear that housing is going to be pushed from a conservative point of view. What does that mean? It is highly likely that home ownership is going to be pushed further. What does that mean? Well, if you're running a buy to sell strategy, fabulous, more buyers. Get in there. Make fantastic homes for people. Look at my friend, the elephant. <laughs> I'm in Cambodia at the moment. Make fantastic homes for people. Give them a wonderful, wonderful place to live and make really super money for yourself while you're getting on with it. It also, uh, with Britain, it continues to require a very major contribution from the private rental sector, and that's us. Uh, all the indicators very clearly are that we need to professionalise. Well, that's fine. You know, I'm very interested in having safety, health and safety, proper checks, etc. on my properties. I want the people that rent my properties to be safe in my properties, but I also want fair rules and regulation. So definitely become a member of one of the organisations such as the NLA or the RLA. They're a great lobbying body as well as giving you all of the most recent legislation and seeing as things are changing quite fast in our industry, stay up to date. However, never let anything put you off. The fact that there are some uh, professionalised requirements coming our way, great, just be a better landlord. But the basic is a demand outstrips supply and therefore, for me, all of my portfolio is rented and I have no doubt that that will continue to be the case. So look at your quartile, look at your customers, decide who you want to rent to. Me, I want to rent to people who are working, who uh, have got no interest at all in not paying the rent and who are going to respect my properties. Uh, and as a result, I want to give them very high quality accommodation. I want to fix problems as fast as I possibly can, or my team can. Uh, and I want to give them great central locations within my city, which happens to be Bristol. So I want there to be a good match between tenant and landlord. And I won't, I won't rent to people who don't fit that match or are very difficult or, or actually even rude to my team because it's a private business and none of my team need to put up with any nonsense. So we end up with a good match. So we've got buy to sell, we've got buy to let. Serviced accommodation is going to continue to be a fantastic trend. Yes, keep an eye on legislation. Yes, things are moving fast. Yes, competition is heating up. But what does that also mean? That means that there are some great service providers in the industry who are there to do all the hard work for you because they've had a lot of practice now. Great. You can earn up to, well, in, in certainly in my properties, and I do service accommodation, you can earn up to three times your normal uh, rental income and uh, as a result your profit. So that's pretty good news. Development. People are moving fewer times, if that's correct English. Uh, permitted developments are there. Certificate of lawfulness going up into the loft is becoming the norm, certainly in some parts of Bristol, in Britain, sorry, and certainly in my part, which is Bristol. So get familiar with your PD rights, get familiar with planning, uh, and I, I just had a property under offer, uh, a piece of land, basically just a spare bit of garden for uh, 78,000 quid. Had to make money out of a bit of scrap land because I spent a grand and a half putting planning on it. So there's some real opportunities. Now, interest rates, they're super low. How does that benefit us? Well, it benefits us, the property investors, twofold. Number one, the cost of our portfolio remains low. And particularly in the early days when you're stretched, well, what a blessing for you. And it looks like it's going to continue. So get in and fill your boots while interest rates are historically low. You are paying so much less for your mortgages than you would have done previously. And number two, for savers, they're not getting much return on their money. So if you're a good bet with credible um, experience, decent human being, keep everything legal above board and protected and secure for both parties, then the opportunity to borrow private finance or do joint ventures has never been greater. So am I worried for 2020? No, I think 2020 is gonna be the year of the property investor and you should get in now to property investing, looking at all the threats, sure, 
the weaknesses, sure, but then let's capitalise on the opportunities and let's capitalise on the strengths that we've got as an industry. So good luck to you in 2020. I hope you've done your planning. If we can be of help, then fabulous. You know the website, thegoodpropertycompany.co.uk. And see you on the other side. Good luck.